Hi everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is the week of Christmas. Uh, not gonna lie, I don't feel very festive. Um, but yeah, hoping to feel more festive by the weekend when Christmas is. Um, also, don't actually really know yet what Christmas is gonna be like because um, we might have some more restrictions here in the UK. So yeah, right yeah, I'm having a meeting right now. So Parliament are having a meeting right now um, to discuss whether there's going to be more restrictions and then we just have to wait and see. So yeah, so at the moment it's like, are we going to have Christmas? Are we not? So I think that's kind of adding to the not feeling very festive. Um, and also everyone we know has COVID. So it's just spreading like wildfire. So we're kind of locking down this week, really. We cancelled a few plans just so we can try and hopefully celebrate Christmas somehow this weekend. But anyways... Kickstarting our festivities, it's not even festivities this week, but just trying to get the house in order and stuff because we're hosting, well, meant to be hosting Christmas here with my family. And one thing that I've wanted to do for ages is sort our table out. So we've just bought the table outside, but you can see, like, if I zoom right in, there's just loads of, like, of the wood kind of poking through. So the table was black before, but now it's kind of, yeah. The wood's kind of getting exposed and it just looks very dirty. I've also messed up the table down here where I've like done my nail art and stuff. So it needs to be sprayed. So we popped a B&Q this morning and we got this spray paint. Just sort of super easy to use to do the table. Hopefully it will work. So let's try it out. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh! Working. That's working. That looks really good. Yeah, okay. Right. Why are you spraying in your jacket? Oh yeah, it looks good actually. It looks really good. Spray it faster than that, like even. <laughs> God, it's really not good, is it? It just keeps coming out like in a line. It's coming out the side. <laughs> You've broken it. It started off really, really well. Okay, just, yeah, I'm gonna have to clean up. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> Guys, that worked so well. Look how good it looks now. Obsessed. The only downside is my hands are still covered in black stuff. I mean, most of it's come off, but I've kind of given up scrubbing now. Um, yeah, so that's great. That worked out really, really well. I think it was, how much was that spray paint? 17 pounds. It's quite expensive, but wanted to get a good one. Although it broke halfway through and we were like, brilliant. Um, the spray bit, like nozzle, just did stop spraying. So I had to like open it like out and click it back in a few times and then it worked again, thank God. Because we were like, brilliant, we're halfway through and the paint was just falling out of the spray can, like spraying out onto my hand. I mean, you saw it did. Um, but yeah, it looks really good, it looks really nice. Been meaning to do that for ages because the table was just looking super, super worn. Um, I mean, the table's from made.com. Um, but yeah, good that we could just spray it because it's just wood. Um, so yeah, it worked out really well. Um, ready for my table decor for Christmas. Got a few cute decor bits of the table. So obviously, keep watching because later on in the week, we will decorate the table together. Guys, just wanted to quickly show you my hair. So, I mean, it needs a wash and it's a bit messy. But do you remember that like chunk that broke off from that hair salon um, visit back in June? Well, look how long it is now. That whole bit was that massive chunk that broke off and it was like this long. And now, is this long how mad is that it's getting there it really is i mean it's kind of annoying but yeah look how long it is mental still using like my growth serum and my vitamins and stuff i mean i paused them for a little bit because when i had my hair bleach and then i had my photo shoot i didn't want my roots to grow too much um, for my shoot so i like stopped taking everything and using the serum but i'm back on it now but yeah i just can't believe how much it's grown crazy so good also guys welcome to the present wrapping room i've taken over my small bedroom started wrapping everyone's presents i need to do some more today 
So guys, every Christmas I do beauty boxes for my family. So I am about to do some right now. Got lots of goodies for them. And I've managed to save some um, gift boxes that uh, were from PR packages. So I'm just gonna reuse these instead of recycling them, may as well reuse them. Um, so I'm gonna reuse these and fill them up with lots of goodies for my family. So we've got lots of beauty bits in here. Charlotte Tilbury, we've got Morphe. Uh, we've got Benefit, NARS, Esther Lorde, lots and lots of goodies in all these boxes. So yeah, I just think it's quite nice giving back to my family um, at Christmas and they love it because I basically every year stock them up with lots of new in products and then they get to try them throughout the rest of the year. So um, yeah, it's something they always, always love. So I'm going to start getting filled up and spreading all the bits out um yeah got lots to go through okay it's definitely feeling christmasy now all the presents are under the tree so cute just done some christmasy nail art they look so cute we are off to town. I'm filming an ad um, this morning and it kind of, yeah, I want to kind of make it a bit lifestyle-y so we thought we'd go into town all wrapped up warm. I've got my new Bershka coat, so nice. Um, it's like, oh, what's that brand? I can't think of the brand, they sell it in Selfridges. Shrimps, is it shrimps? Or sa no, Saks Pot, it's like their coats. Um, but obviously this is a cheaper version, a little Jeep from Bershka. It's only like £70, love it. Um, but yeah, gonna have a little mooch in town, uh, maybe get some lunch or something, and then head back home and finish filming this video. Oh, I am tired today, guys. But I've just filmed a video um, using a new Charlotte Tilbury foundation, which I'm actually obsessed with. It's so beaut. That's coming out in January. Um, I know, crazy. Already filming content for January. Um, also, got some puzzles today. So I've got my PR box with Sophie Hannah hair. So I've got one sent to me because I wanted to show you guys what I popped in there for content creators. So I sent, I think, 30 influencers PR boxes. They're still being sent out at the moment. Um, so I did some international and I did some UK. Um, sent them to some amazing people like Stella Cheney, who I'm like obsessed with and would love to hear her feedback on Sophie Hannah hair, hair dye. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to unbox it for you guys just to show you what I put in there. And also, before I do that, I'm so excited because Robin treated me to some cake pops. We had these cake pops ages ago and he thought he'd just get some for Christmas. So let's open them up. They're from Pop Bakery. I can't remember. We got them sent in a PR package, didn't we? And we were like, oh my God, they're so good. Oh, they're really cool. Uh, Have you not? No. Shut up. Well, they look like that. They're sick. Oh my god, that's sick. A fab lolly cake pop. That is so fucking cool. And a pizza. Look how good that looks. Look at the pizza. Popcorn. Oh, that one's really cool. It's got like gold dusting on the popcorn. What's this one? I'm so Wow, gosh, she's so good at making them. Wow, that looks incredible. Look, it's like sushi. They are so cool. I'll pop a link below in case any of you guys want to treat yourselves over Christmas. But yeah, they are chocolate flavoured. Oh my God, I cannot wait to try one. Okay, I'm going to eat lunch first, I think, and have one for after. I might have a fab. That's so cool. It actually looks like a fab lolly. <laughs> How funny. So, Sophie Hannah hair PR box. Love this holographic logo that we put on. And then we're going to open it up. Live life in colour. And then let's have a look. Oh, bless Toby Wright, little note. We did it. It's honestly been an absolute pleasure. Here's to many more launches of success. 
So guys, I popped in Tangle Teaser because obsessed with Tangle Teaser and also this is so, so good for your hair and your scalp. Then we've got the wet brush. Again, amazing if you want to brush your hair when your dye is on and brush it through or if you want to use that after you've washed your hair. Silk London Hair Wrap, obviously. These are amazing. Most people have got bleached hair when they're using semi-permanent hair dye. And this is going to protect your hair when you sleep. And then the Sophie Hannah Hair Products. We've got this cute reusable tote bag, which I absolutely love. S-H-H. And then we've got Purple Haze, Bubblegum Pink and peach punch one of each that i popped in the box for all the influencers and then we popped in the dye kit as well so we've got the brush and we've got the bowl so cute totally gonna reuse that box and keep all my sophie hannah hair dyes in it why not we are off to do the big christmas shop um, I don't the think there are any, oh. no don't worry, I don't think there's any restrictions for Christmas so I think at the moment we, well, we can have Christmas can't we? Boris said there's no announcement or restrictions beforehand so yeah Christmas should be as it is gonna be, as we planned. So yeah we're having Christmas at mine with my family this year um, on Christmas day and we're cooking so we're gonna go and do the big food shop, got my list, let's go. Fridge is all stocked up for Christmas. Oh, guys, I am tired um, and I've got a stuffy nose. We have been cleaning the house all morning for hours. Um, we've only just done downstairs because we just thought that's the only bit where everyone's going to be. No one needs to go upstairs, so we'll just clean downstairs for now because we've done like a proper deep clean and we've been at it for like five hours. So yeah, to do a deep clean of the whole house, it would legit take like two days. And yeah, we're not doing that right now. We'll do half of it and then we'll probably like tackle the rest and do a deep clean of upstairs um, over the Christmas break. When I have a bit of a rejig in my studio and like tied up my dressing room and stuff and like, yeah, do a deep clean. Um, never really get much of a chance in, well, everyday life because I'm just so busy with work we can only kind of do like little cleans here and there as we go so still really want to clean her but because of covid and stuff and the dogs it's just a bit awkward to get one uh, and also working from home as well I wish like if we didn't work from home I'd definitely get a clean up because we're here all the time I just feel like I don't know would it be awkward um but yeah anyways clean house ready for Christmas day um, hopefully nobody tests positive because obviously we've got that to think of uh, but fingers crossed there's no other restrictions so yeah if everyone is negative when they do their lateral flow tests on Christmas Day we should be hosting Christmas here um, I need to set the table still but everywhere else is clean tidy and ready um, for Christmas Day so tomorrow's Christmas Eve uh, but we're busy because obviously you guys might know if you watch my vlogs and um, follow along that tomorrow is Swedish Christmas. So Robin's family is Swedish, so we always celebrate Christmas with them on Christmas Eve. Kind of makes it a little bit easier splitting like Christmas amongst our families because my family celebrate Christmas Day. Um, so yeah, we are going to his mum's tomorrow. I think last year we had it here. Yeah, we had it here last year with a few of us, obviously with the teas and stuff, it was a bit restrictive. We only had a few people, but yeah, we're going to his mum's, which would be really cute. And yeah, because she's got her brand new kitchen, which I'm excited to see, because I think it's all finished now. So yeah, Swedish Christmas tomorrow, and hopefully again, everyone tests negative, uh, but we shall see. But anyways, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the kitchen, um, and then later on, we will do the table together, because I need to set the table for Christmas day. Everyone's tired. It was hard, hard work. Yeah. But yeah, the kitchen's looking good. Obviously, got the table to set. We can do that in a bit. I've got basically everything out and ready to go. Um, sideboard looking good. Found baby asleep on the little armchair. You're very cute. You've got your new skinny dip collar on, haven't you? Yeah, it's really cute. Put your head down so everyone can see. It's got like um, little like daisies on it. It's really cute. And the hallway 
nice, yeah, pretty much, yeah, all there really. Living room. I mean, the living room still looks messy, but it's because it's just overloaded with stuff and presents and things and Luna's little tent. Also, guys, I want to show you this light that we got. Saletti dinosaur light. How freaking cool. It was in the sale. It was £200 reduced to 100 And we've been wanting one of these lights for ages, so obviously we had to buy it. Looks so cool. Time to do the Christmas table. I'm excited about this. I don't know how it's going to look. I haven't really completely prepared much, um, but Rocket St George sent me these really cute little Christmas trees that I'm going to put on the centerpiece. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and get some baubles and bits, and yeah. Okay, we've got some baubles in here, mixture of golds and pinks. Then for the table, I have got these little snowflake napkin holders from Amazon. Got them last year. I've got this really cool sequin rose gold um, table runner that I got from Amazon. I've got these little Christmas trees from Rocket St George. I've got some candles. I've got gold charger plates and gold cutlery. I've got white napkins, glasses. Love these. These are from Sainsbury's, but as to do them now as well. Um, and then I need to make these up. So we've done scratch cards for everyone for their um, Christmas crackers. Quite fun. And then I just got these rose gold glitter Christmas crackers, like DIY ones, from, I can't remember where I got them from, just online, I googled it. Um, but yes, I'm going to make those as well. So I'm going to start off putting down the placemats first on everyone's space. These are just from H&M Home. Next up, these gold charger plates that I got from Amazon. Last one. Then these pink plates that I got from Dunelm. They were £2 each. So, so beau. And then they're going to go on top like this. Then napkin wise, I'm literally just taking the centre of the napkin and then popping that through the top of the napkin holder so it looks something like this. Ta -da! And then they look like this with the plate and then cutlery next to it. Going in with crackers, which I'm actually going to put on the plate next to the napkin. So I'm going to do everyone's cutlery. I think that looks quite cute. Adds a bit more of the rose gold in then, so it matches the table runner. Okay, so plates, cutlery and glasses are pretty much all done. I might actually add on some smaller glasses potentially, but I think I'll probably just do that when... Uh, if people want water or something to get them out of the cupboard. So yeah, most of it's done. Now I'm going to do the centre. I thought I'd do the outer bit first because then I, now I can see how much space I've got in the centre to add some few little bits of decor. Table is done. So I kept it quite simple this year. Like last year I made this like hanging thing that I hung for my lights and it was made of like pampas grass and faux plants and leaves and stuff and had fairy lights in it and it was just... It was very extra and I had fun making it. But this year, just with work and stuff, I've been so busy. So I haven't really had time. So when Rocket St George kindly sent me those little trees, I was like, oh, I feel like I'm just going to put them on the table with some candles, a couple of baubles. And then I just bought that sequin rose gold table runner. And to be fair, the table looks really cute and Christmassy. And it works perfectly with the colour scheme we've got in our kitchen. Um, so yeah, I'm quite pleased with that, actually. And we tend to kind of do a bit of a... Like, we don't serve up the plates with the food ready. We like to have lots of dishes and we pass them around. We pass the potatoes and everything around the table. So because of that, I feel like I can't have too much on the table because we need space to put all the bowls and stuff um, to share all the food. However, I mean, I have taken up quite a lot of the table. But it looks good. Let me show you. So this is the table. And as you guys might notice i haven't got my pink christmas tree up in the kitchen this year sadly i just did not get time to put it up that's how busy i've been um so yeah sadly no tree but to be honest with you i still think it looks christmasy in here with the christmas table and i think it would be nice um anyways but yeah it would have been amazing if we had the tree i've just noticed this is falling down 
yeah, it would have been nice if we'd had the tree, but um, we've got this little bar cart corner display anyways. But yeah, table. So this is it. We've got the crackers, we've got napkins, gold cutlery, and then the centerpiece. Oh, just nudged the table and knocked a bauble. Um, I've just scattered baubles, gold baubles, rose gold baubles, like little sequin ones, little gold acorny things. What are these called? Conifers? Are they conifers? Conifers, potentially. Um, yeah, candles. Got these amazing pink twirl candles that I got last year. Um, some pillar candle things. So these, these pillar things I got from Ikea. Um, and then big pillar candles. My lovely Fornacetti giant candle, which we are working our way through. We always have that when we have people around. Um, yeah. And then the little Rocket St. George Christmas trees, which look really cool. So that is the 2021 Christmas table. I like to do it a little bit different every year. Yeah, every year I've done it differently, which I think is quite fun. It's nice. It gives me something like to look forward to. I love doing the Christmas table. Um, yeah. So that's it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope you love it. Super sparkly. Um, and yeah, it just fits so, so well with the colour scheme in my kitchen. Black, pink, gold, rose gold. Beaut. Um, anyways, I'm going to have an early night. Try and get some rest because we've got a big day tomorrow, Swedish Christmas. And obviously going to take you guys along with me. Um, yeah. Mm, Christmas time. Can't believe it's here. It's mental. Morning guys, it is Christmas Eve, which means it is Swedish Christmas. So good Yule. I am wearing the cutest coat from House of Sunny. You guys might recognise it. I love it, I've worn it quite a bit, but it's just so cosy and really, really cool. So guys, this is the coat for those of you that haven't seen it. Obsessed. It's like a really comfy, like stretchy knit fabric in this gorgeous, like arty kind of swirl print with like the like lemony colour, the mint, the baby blue. Just absolutely love it. And then I've gone with my Nike Gunk trainers and yeah obsessed and then i put a house of sunny like green knit top underneath just for warmth took off the cuffs there were like faux fur cuffs but i took them off because it's just a bit awkward um obviously wearing them like leaning over a table and eating and stuff because they always go in food but i kept the um collar absolutely love this super comfy and casual for christmas eve so yeah gonna pack up all the presents and then we are heading to robin's mum's for swedish christmas so let's get going Presents all gathered and ready to load the car up. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm late Everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be empty Oh. I remember I showed you that, didn't I? That's wicked. Oh, that is really nice. Mm. Oh. Fuck off, they're sick. Wow. He doesn't have a pair of nice dogs. They're so nice. Thank you very much. It's the noise it makes. It is. What? Everyone's been shopping on this water. Really 
little card holder all my cards you can see in my bag loose or in my pocket I don't use my purse anymore really that's really nice and uh, pause as well so yeah yeah so now I'm covered fully covered No! Oh! Ah! What's up, Jackie? Guys. Ready, steady. Remember, it's only one breath. I can't look at you. Okay. <laughs> from Swedish Christmas. Um, I feel like it goes quicker every year. Uh, really nice day though, amazing food, we got some amazing presents. Everyone did pretty good this year, I think. Um, yeah, super cute day. Christmas day tomorrow. So what have we got? Breakfast with your dad. Yeah, lunch at home. With lunch at home with the doggies and your mum. Yeah. And then my family are coming round for Christmas dinner. So me and Robin are cooking again for eight of us. Um, yeah, but the table's all set and ready. So it's just a case of cooking and serving. And we've done it before for this many people. So it should be smooth and okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like it always just goes so quick, doesn't it? Mm. Every year flies by. Praying... For no restrictions after Christmas. Um, because otherwise that would just be so annoying, won't it? Um, because you're always on like a bit of a, a low, aren't you, after Christmas? And then like if we've got news like that, it'd be so annoying. But anyway, have a nice day. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching what we got up to. Merry Christmas, guys. We are rushing. We are off to Robin's dad for breakfast. We do like stocking presents. And yeah, have a bit of a full English. So let's go. Also, how cute is my makeup? Christmassy with the red lip. Had to. Um, yeah, big breakfast. Never normally eat a big breakfast like that either. Really, really full. I feel like Christmas Day, we just go all out with the food. Um, got some cute little stocking presents, so thank you very much, Robin. Did you like yours? Loved them. Loved them. Um, just on our way to my dad's grave now, I um, bought this little like stone heart. Basically, we've got a stone heart on his grave at the moment, but it's literally like 10 years old and it is so mossy um so i'm gonna take it my sister's gonna clean it and she's gonna have it in her garden and we're gonna replace it with this one so yeah i'm gonna do that and then head back home and chill for a bit and have some lunch with your mom potato peeling has begun right who's ready to open presents who wants to go first has he Oh, yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. No, I don't have that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Um, I 
Are you pleased? Oh, carrots! Yay, you made it to the gravy! Oh, you're Lucy Gravy, you did it in. So, do something like that. The aftermath of Christmas, which means we have to tidy. I am tired. Honestly, socialising really takes it out of you. And I swear it's because we've kind of been locked down for a while and just like not used to it. Uh, but I had an amazing Christmas. It was really nice to have my family around. And I didn't actually get to see my family last year because we were in different tiers. So it was nice to all be together. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys had a lovely Christmas as well. After dinner, we played a few games and then, yeah, I carried on drinking a little bit and then everyone sort of left at like 10-ish. Um, just tiring, isn't it, Christmas Day? But yeah, I hope you guys had an amazing day and Christmas. Um, and also, if you guys didn't, because you had COVID, sending you lots of love, because obviously I know that must have been tough this year, especially because... We didn't really have the opportunity to, yeah, do Christmas last year, really. Um, but, yeah, going to end my vlog here, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week. I hope you enjoyed taking a little snippet into my Christmas. And, yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you, and I'll see you guys next week. Will it be already? Yeah. Will it? Yeah. Is that the date? Where's the calendar? It Yeah. See you in 2022, mate. Oh, that's weird. 2nd of Jan, the next vlog will go out. So, yeah, hope you guys have an amazing new year, whatever you do. And, um, yeah, we'll catch up in 2022. Peace out.